What's up guys, this is Shamers11 and welcome back to Game of Thrones on the Xbox One. This is the Telltale Game series. Uh, we're on episode 4, which is just released. This one is called Sons of Winter. Okay, so this is a bit of a tricky one um, for me to kind of review because by now you've either played this or you haven't, you either love it or you don't. You know what Game of Thrones is, is or you don't, you like it or you don't like it. Um, not only that, but we're in episode four and to kind of show you why episode four is so tricky, um, we've got to kind of get into the psyche of a writer. So we've got six parts. So part one is your introduction. Part two is where you start developing your plots. Um, Part three is where you kind of flesh out your characters. Five is where um, all your cliffhangers are. And six is where everything concludes. So what do you do in four? Well, this is where uh, any cleverly written show, whether you like it or not, something like Lost or Heroes, um, Game of Thrones, uh, you have to have stories within stories that kind of develop as the main story is going through. And in the end, they all tie together very cleverly. This is where episode 4 lies. And this is why Telltale Games and the people that have written um, oh, the Game of Thrones series really are up there in the gaming world with the best of the best. I, you'd I would say the quality of this is exactly up there with the writing for the TV show. And there's no one else that can do this. And, and this is what's great about gaming at the moment because... It is now the biggest entertainment sure industry. It, it takes more money than films. And we have said for a long time this horrible phrase of well, they're all becoming interactive movies. Well, this is an interactive TV show, an interactive movie. This is superb. It's a little bit shorter than previous episodes. It took me two hours, two hours, ten. Um, but the way to look at that is it's it's two and a half episodes of the TV show, so not bad at all. Um, the other reason I wanted to bring this out is because uh, it's just had a bit of a price cut over here in the UK. I'm not sure about where you are in the world, um, but the entire complete series was twenty three ninety nine. It's now nineteen ninety nine. That's for all six parts. So one, two, three. This new fourth one and five and six that are going to be timed coming out soon. I do believe 5 and 6 will both be by the end of the year. Um, generally, it feels like there's a couple of months in between. The previous episode came out just before the TV show came back. I do believe that was 7 weeks ago, 8 weeks ago now. Um, so it's every couple of months it feels like they're coming out. For me, this series has overtaken everything, um, other than possibly Walking Dead, because that was my first, and uh, and that was uh, just so very special. Um, what I love about this is we've still got all the characters that we've learnt from 1, 2, and 3, and and as you can see, we've got Daenerys in front of us. Um, there's a, a, a lot of use of the TV characters, so it does all tie in. The only thing now is that we're slightly, the TV show is now slightly ahead of the, the game, so there's a few characters that, uh, for example, Jon Snow, um, yeah, a bit of a spoiler, but he's the uh, commander of the Night's Watch um, up at the wall, uh, and in this he isn't, but he has such a minor role in this episode. He was very heavily featured in episode 3. This one is very Daenerys heavy. Um, we've still got Lady Marjorie. We've still got the Lannisters we meet a new Lannister as well, spoiler. Um, we've got... What is it you expect me to do? Yes, another one. Who I'll show you at the end, actually. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to give too much away, but um, there's a fantastic twist. Play hide and seek in the grove again. This episode, is, it, it really did impress me. It starts off um, quite story related um, but we made an awful lot of decisions in episode three and this is really them all coming together there's a fantastic scene you've got to play it where you're sneaking around uh, marine which is the big slave city uh, liberating it um, guys I cannot recommend this hi highly enough I, I, you've got to check this out if you love the series you'll love this game highly recommended thank you for watching till next time Can't be broken. I've decided to come see for myself